New tonight, the closed off section of the Chattahoochee River is expanding. Now 15 miles of the river shut down to the public. Yeah, it means no boating, no floating, all because of extremely high levels of E. coli. It all of it stems from a malfunction at a nearby wastewater treatment plant, and this one turned out pretty nasty. Atlanta News First, Patrick Quinn, he's live along the river for us. Patrick? And I was able to just talk with Public Works officials and they stress that they know what the issue is and they're starting to fix it. A point of clarification, they said, is this is not raw sewage that is spewing into the river. It's partially treated. It's just not completely treated. Somehow that didn't make me feel all that much better. But in the meantime, this is what it looks like right now. They say, do what these ducks are doing. Stay out of the water, at least for this 15 mile stretch. Ahead of the 4th of July, 15 miles of the Chattahoochee River are closed due to extremely high levels of bacteria. Boaters Russell and Mary didn't get the memo. The fishing was not very good, but now that you've told us there's a bunch of E. coli in the water, <laughs> it's kind of like scary. Now signage is up across this busy stretch of the hooch to warn all boaters and floaters. We have not experienced anything of this magnitude at the time that, since the park's been established. Initially, water officials thought there was a broken pipe below the riverbed spewing raw sewage, but that's been debunked. According to the County Public Works director, the problem is at the nearby water treatment facility. A toxic chemical, potentially chlorine from pool water, threw off the disinfecting process. And what has now happened is the water is only being partially treated as it comes through this plant. Public Works Director David Clark said to fix the problem, they've added more disinfectant and sent roughly 5 million gallons of dirty water to Cobb County. But to patch up the filtration process, that will take time. We don't know for a fact, but we're optimistic it's somewhere between a two and seven day window. In the meantime, avoid contact with the water from the Chattahoochee Nature Center downstream. As soon as we receive uh, good water quality data uh, will open the river. Exposure to the water could mean vomiting and diarrhea. Beth and Mary said they had the river to themselves, but now they know it's time for a deep clean. I'll definitely wash my hands and clean up a little bit better than I normally do. And officials, they are testing the water every single day, and they say the latest levels are just way too high. What they want to see is 200 parts E. coli for every milliliter of water, 200. Right now, that number is 100,000, so a lot has got to change. They said this part of the river will be closed today and tomorrow and potentially through the end of the week. We're live along the Chattahoochee River. Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Yeah, hope